Shalom, the Lord bless you, the Lord increase you, the Lord honor you. Beloved, today I want to share with you a very important topic. And this topic says three things you must not take from anybody. This is very, very important because when you take any of these three things from anybody, it can enslave you, it can destroy you. And one of the reasons why God has instructed me to start teaching recently is because he demands our freedom. He wants us to be free from demonic manipulations, from the works of the wicked. And I want you to please take this teaching of today very serious. Lest anybody enslaves you using any of these three things. Very quickly, what exactly are these things? Number one, gifts. The Bible says that the gift of a man makes room for them. The gifts of a man makes way. The gifts of a man opens doors for them. That is why you see that no matter how hard someone is, if you give them bribe, they will easily melt down. Gifts actually makes you um, do away with your values without even knowing it. And that is why it is very, very important as a child of God you mind whom you collect things from because by the reason of getting gifts from anybody you can collect demons you can be afflicted gifts actually open doors to demons into people's lives it open doors to attack it open doors to bad energy anybody that touches for instance a particular thing that they want to give to you Let's assume I want to give you this perfume right now. As long as my hand has touched this perfume, this perfume is already carrying my energy. It's carrying my energy. And um, if I am a person that carries a negative energy, if I'm a person that carries a negative spirit, as soon as you touch this thing, I can transfer it. I can transfer that energy to this bottle and as you touch it, you contact it. Yeah. And mind you, anybody giving you gifts has a mission, has a purpose, which most of us cannot be able to design. Some of them, before they give you the gift, they would have carried it to their altars. They would have prayed on it. They, as long as they have a mission for that gift, if that mission is bad, can affect your life. So, be careful of whom you collect gifts from. Many marriages today are suffering as a result of the gifts they got on their wedding day. <laughs> Many people are suffering in business as a result of the gifts of business capital they have received from somewhere. <laughs> Many are suffering today in their relationships as a result of the gifts they got from a friend, not knowing that the friend is on a mission to destroy their relationship. So wisdom is profitable to direct. Be careful of whom you collect gifts from and save your life and destiny from unnecessary battles in the name of Jesus. Amen. And nothing I think you should not take from anyone is vow. Don't make a vow with anybody. Don't enter any kind of oath with anybody. This is bounding. <laughs> this is enslaving. This can put your life in a stagnant position for life. You know, one bad thing about vow or oath is that it has a legal bounding that can be used against you in the spiritual court. I see a lot of people are out of the spiritual they enter an oath with a young man that they will marry him, not knowing that the person they're entering an oath with is not just a human being. It's a spirit working in the flesh. And when you say those things, you think you're actually joking. You're not joking. You're not joking. It's legally bounded. It can be used against you in a spiritual court. She said, he said, be careful. Be very, very careful. That is why most women, when their husband troubles them, they pick up their wedding ring and they remind God of the vow. 
And whenever they pray that kind of prayer, it works fast. Why? In the spiritual court, the oath the man has made before putting the ring in the hand of the woman is bounding. Is spiritually bounding. And anything that woman says or that man says at that moment stands. So you need to be very, very careful of whom you enter, whether marital vow, business contract, you enter an oath with, or oath of uh, being a friend forever, oath of this, oath of that. Be careful. It's legally bounding. And it can be used against you in the spiritual court. And anybody that understands this, his or her life will actually move smoothly. And you know, this is one of the reasons why most of us today are suffering spiritual battles in our families. You hear this one has a generational cause, this one has a generational problem. What actually brought it? Oaths, vows that our ancestors made, which they have not even fulfilled with those deities. Some of you go to evil altars, you go to evil churches without knowing. And then the pastor will tell you, tell God of this altar what you will do when he blesses you with this. You don't even know which God is in that altar. You don't even know. Ignorance. You don't even know which kind of God is in this altar. Because you are desperately in need, you open your mouth. And begin to make promises then the evil spirit on the altar does what you have requested for then you run away from the, the place you run away from that altar you think you are free you are not free they will call you back they will drain you of everything you have gotten from them so don't ever take an oath with anyone don't ever make any vow anywhere whether the altar of God whether the altar of Satan, no matter the altar you are, they are calling you upon. That is why, no matter where I go to worship on any Sunday service, if they like, let them be calling millions, billions. Ah, Apostle Amaka, come and uh, make a vow. No, I don't make vows. I don't make vows. I give what I have. I give when the Lord prompts me to give. I don't make vows. Because that is one thing that is legally bound. Be careful of this, okay? And lastly, but not the least, um, uh, never you take anybody's fluid. Never you take anybody's fluid. <laughs> you know, this is uh, one major thing that uh, uh, can actually transfer faster the demons, the patterns, the generational causes in the life of someone else into your own life. And how do most of us take people's fluid? Number one, through sex. Number two, through kissing. Yeah. Sex, kissing, blood transfusion. If you're a good Bible student, you will see that God himself in the Old Testament told them not to actually take another person's blood. Yeah. Not to even, even eat animal blood. Yeah. Because it is very, very dangerous. The demon there can actually inflict you. So never take anybody's fluid. Never take anybody's fluid. Blood transfusion. You got to be very. Who is donating the blood you are taking? Who is the donator? Who is the one donating the blood? You are in a in a hospital bed and there is an emergency for blood transfusion. Huh? You need to start praying, you know, because you can carry somebody's generational cause through that middle. I'm not saying that you should not involve in that, no. But you need to ask God for his intervention. You need to plead the blood of Jesus on that blood you are taking. You don't know the source. You don't know the demon that is operating in that person's life, that is operating in the donor's life. That is why some of you, after blood transfusion, you see yourself, you start acting strange. You start believing strange beyond your attitude as a child of God. And be careful of who you actually couple with. As a child of God, be careful. Who are you having sex with? 
That is why the Bible encourages that we should not have sex before marriage. Yeah. Because whomever you have sex with and take the sin inside of you matters a lot. It matters a lot. It can destroy you. For some of you that have actually been are sleeping around with multiple partners, if you have been very observant, you will notice the difference. Yeah. You will notice. Very, very important. Be careful. Abstain from taking anybody's food, whether by kissing, 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 or by sex, or by blood transfusion. Work on these three things and you will live a good life. You will live a life full of safety. You will live your own life and not another person's life. May the Lord Almighty help every one of us and help us indeed to work on these things. Lest we become victims on earth, not fulfilling our destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, the Lord Almighty bless you. In case today is your first time of coming across our YouTube channel, I am by name Apostle Amaka. I want to encourage you to please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and be a part of this community, be a part of this family. And believe in me, you will never regret ever doing so. For every one of you that are returning subscribers, I love you all. God Almighty bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.